Ever wondered why emotions can feel like a tempestuous storm, sweeping you off your feet and tossing you into a sea of turmoil? Such is the dance of emotions, complex and unpredictable, like a flamenco dancer twirling in a whirlwind of passion. One moment, you're cruising through life, the next, you're stuck in the traffic jam of frustration or dealing with a co-worker whose sole purpose seems to be to ruffle your feathers. Yet, amidst this chaos, lies the key. It's not about avoiding the traffic jam or wishing away the irksome colleague. No, it's about how we react to these situations. Our reactions, you see, are the steps to our dance, the rhythm to our music. They shape our experience, color our world. So, let's delve into this dance. Let's understand it. Let's master it. Remember, understanding emotions and reactions isn't about quieting the storm, but learning to dance in the rain. Enter Stoicism, a philosophy older than your great-great-grandmother, yet as relevant as the latest smartphone model. Hailing from ancient Greece, Stoicism is a philosophy that's been around for over 2,000 years, but don't let its age fool you. It's as current as your newsfeed, and as practical as your morning cup of coffee. The Stoics, like the tech-savvy folk of today, were all about optimization. But instead of apps and gadgets, they focused on the mind. The Stoic philosophy centers around the belief that we can't control the world around us, the traffic, the weather, the grumpy barista, but we can control how we react to it. Stoics strive to maintain tranquility and virtue in the face of life's inevitable ups and downs. They don't let external events ruffle their feathers. Instead, they adjust their internal compass. For Stoics, life isn't about what happens to you, but how you respond to it. Now, you might be wondering, how do I apply Stoicism in my daily life? Let's delve into that with some practical examples. Imagine the all too common scenario of being stuck in bumper to bumper traffic. Your pulse quickens, the frustration mounts. But wait, recall the Stoic principle of focusing on what you can control. Can you control the traffic? No. What you can control, however, is your reaction to it. You could choose to fume and seethe, or you could use the time to listen to a podcast, practice a foreign language, or simply enjoy a moment of quiet reflection. The traffic hasn't changed, but your experience of it certainly has. Now, let's consider another situation. Picture a co-worker who seems to have made it their life's mission to make your workday unbearable. They're constantly criticizing your work, ignoring your emails, and leaving you out of important meetings. It's easy to let this get under your skin, but remember, Stoicism teaches us to understand that their actions are outside of your control. You can't change their behavior, but you can control your response to it. So instead of allowing their negativity to ruin your day, why not choose a different path? Perhaps you can see it as an opportunity to develop patience or to practice empathy, understanding that their behavior may stem from their own issues. Once again, the situation hasn't changed, but your perception of it has. It's these small shifts in perspective that can make a world of difference in our daily lives. Stoicism isn't about suppressing emotions, but rather about managing them in a way that serves us better. It's about understanding what we can and cannot control and choosing to invest our energy wisely. By practicing Stoicism, you're not just surviving life's storms, you're learning to dance in them. So, what have we learned from our little jaunt into the world of Stoicism? We've discovered that understanding and managing our emotions is crucial. It's not about stifling the natural currents of human feeling, but rather navigating them with grace and wisdom. We've learned that our emotions aren't always the most trustworthy guides, and that a calm, measured perspective can often lead us to more sound decisions, and ultimately, a more peaceful life. We've also touched on the cornerstone of stoic thinking, focusing on what we can control, the world is a swirling tempest of events, many of which we have no influence over. But we can control our reactions to these events, our attitudes and our actions. Stoicism encourages us to hone in on these aspects and let go of the uncontrollable. And finally, we've learned that Stoicism is about choosing our reactions to external events. It's about finding serenity in the storm, clarity amidst chaos. Remember, life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain, and with Stoicism, you've got the steps to do just that.